I love what I do and you know, so that's why when it's taken away from me through injury or setbacks or whatever it is, I take it pretty hard. First week of January, uh, just in the last five minutes of a, of a session, um, yeah, I, I just went to take off to run and um, yeah, I heard a big pop and went straight down on, on my uh, hands and knees and I knew pretty, I knew straight away it was pretty serious and I knew, pretty much knew what it was going to be. Knights co-captain Jaden Braley says he shattered after injuring his Achilles at training yesterday. Still awaiting results from scans, but Braley is expected to miss a good chunk of the 2022 season, placing added pressure on the Knights' depth. Braley says he hopes to be back on the field mid-July. Obviously going through 2020 with my knee and then for this to happen again, I think I was in denial for the good part of the first two months. And, you know, I rode the roller coaster pretty hard. I was uh, up and, and pretty pretty down as well, pretty down in the dumps. Um, but, you know, as I said before, you know, I've got a really good support network at home. I was wheeling myself around on a scooter for about, yeah, four, four or five weeks. And then I was on crutches for another three. Um, I couldn't sit down in the I couldn't stand up in the shower even. I couldn't couldn't walk around. I was just up on the lounge watching TV and um, just trying to wiggle my toes, get get my circulation going. And so it's really only limited stuff for the first two months. It was so heartbreaking. It was it was really hard, um, not for me, for Jaden. Um, but I mean, those first few days we were surrounded by people, like really good friends, family who just came straight away and just sort of tried to keep Jaden's mind off it. So I mean, lots of love those first few days. But it was just we knew a long road was road was ahead of him. Yeah, I think Fred was the best thing to to help us. He's was the biggest saving grace. Like. I mean, obviously there was still like really hard times, but having Fred there with Jaden was just just really the through spirits. Do you want my Absolutely, yeah. taught him tricks. Yeah. While, he was, while you were on the scooter, teaching him how to bang bang and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sit down. I but did. but yeah, it was. I mean, I don't think it was hard for me at all. It was just hard seeing him like that. Once I got through that stage, it's a lot about calf raises. I've done calf raises for the last six months non-stop, so I don't want to hear any more about calf raises. I've had enough of it, but um, yeah, it's a lot of, it's, it's a very um, tedious, slow process, but I had a tough time with getting my calf strength back and then all, one week it all just clicked. That springboarded me into uh, running on the field and um, getting a lot of my fitness back. And yesterday I, I did my first training session with the boys, so um, yeah, that, that was a, that was a, probably the biggest milestone yet. And yeah, I couldn't wipe, wipe the smile off my face for the the whole two hours. Time coming. Ah, feels good. Feels strong. Feels normal. Feels good. In with the boys, getting used to getting the footy back in the hands, getting the footy brain uh, ticking over again, and um, probably just getting used to all the combinations again. I think, and 
that, that shouldn't come uh, too long. Yeah, that, that'll come pretty quick, I think. And um, I just can't wait to slot back in there and um, do, what, do what I do best and what I love most. Probably pretty emotional, um, probably just knowing of what I've gone through for the last six months and not only for myself but for Lil, for my family and even all my teammates as well. As I said, they've been a part of my journey and um, getting me back here is um, as good as I have I've gotten back here and um, yeah, it's de definitely emotional but a lot of relief and a lot of joy and happiness as well. I just was so excited to get back out there and um, yeah, play, some, play some footy again.